Today we're going to do an updated review of our hiker trailer. We did an earlier review when we first bought it. Um, we hadn't taken it too many places at that point. So now we've taken it out for two weeks. Uh, we went to Cleveland, went up to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and then we took it to the Badlands, Yellowstone, Grand Tetons, um, Jackson Hole, and then back to Maryland. So we pretty much ran this thing pretty hard. We went through a torrential rain, had a hailstorm, um, probably over 100 degree weather in the Badlands, down to about 30 in Yellowstone. Uh, we even had a little bit of snow. Um, we've taken it up through the mountains, through pretty much anything you would take uh, on the road without getting an actual off-road model. So uh, we'll give you an idea of our thoughts on this thing and might help you decide whether you want to buy one or not. So one thing you might notice from our original review is that we had a different spare tire mount. Um, we actually ran through a hailstorm in Wyoming which uh, pretty much destroyed the roof of our camper and that's not knocking hiker trailer at all because it also destroyed the hood of our car, the roof of our car, and the windshield. So it was pretty, it was like ping pong size hail. Uh, caused a lot of damage. Fortunately, we made it the rest of the way through our trip. But, um, so we actually had to drop the trailer off in Indiana to get the roof replaced. And while it was there, we had decided to go ahead and add this toolbox to the front and this spare tire mount uh, just to give us a little more storage space. We didn't have a ton of storage like we thought we were going to have. Um, all of our, like, camping chairs and rugs, uh, the screen for the awning, the wheel truck. I mean, this all ended up in our car. So then we didn't have any room in our car for our clothes and food. That's why we had them add this while they were repairing the roof. And I highly, highly recommend getting one of these if you guys are gonna order a hiker trailer. It really does add a ton of space. If you wanna take a look, I'll show you like all of the things I have in here. It's really nice. We have camping tables, we have the chairs, the sun seeker. This is um, for the top of the hiker. We have all the propane for cooking. We have the side tables in here and there's still plenty of room. So I highly recommend getting this because it freed up a ton of room in the back of our hiker, inside of the hiker and in the car. So definitely something you wanna think about. I know it can be a bit of money, but it's definitely worth adding on. One thing we also changed, we had this roof rack on our car. Um, we ended up actually switching that over to the camper and I'm gonna keep a two foot step ladder on the top and uh, just so I can kind of access things up there. Um, and we have a bike rack on here right now. We're getting ready to take a trip to Maine where we're gonna take two bikes with us. So we're actually going to switch that around. I've hauled a, a bike on here a couple times and uh, it's, it just makes me kind of nervous how tall it is for some reason. It's probably not a big deal. But we're actually going to move those, uh, the bike racks to the, the top of the car. Um, and previously we had the basket on the car with the cover and we kept a bunch of kind of random things in there which are now in the toolbox. So it kind of frees us up some room. But uh, when we think about it, it made more sense having the bikes on top of the car because we can drop the trailer and then go bike wherever we want to bike. We won't have to move the bikes around. After sleeping in the hiker for two weeks, we had started sleeping with our heads at this end of the hiker. We didn't like that as much because you could hit your head. There wasn't as much head space on this end, so we switched to the other end where you actually have a bit more room and we slept much more comfortably. I've also had some people comment about us only having one door. After staying in here for two weeks, I'm still happy we have one door, but I will say this. If I had to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, I did have to climb over Josh's feet or ask him to move. But we don't really get up and down that much in the, during the night, so it wasn't that much of an issue. And I do like having this wall for hanging space. I have little the command hooks on here. So I would hang, you know, my clothes for the next day up here, or my jacket. 
I did like having this wall space for that reason and if there was a door there I couldn't do that so I'm still happy we have one door um, but I would definitely think about that you are going to be climbing over your partner if you have somebody else in here with you we loved this fan during our trip especially in the Badlands when it was 100 degrees or plus the only issue with it is it got really really windy in the Badlands a storm came up and we had to shut it because we were afraid the wind was going to rip it right off and we had a few um, moments where it was torrential downpours and we didn't want the rain to come in so we shut it but then you have no air circulating in here I know that you can get a cover from RV stores I'm going to put a link to that down here because that's something we're going to purchase before our next trip okay somebody had asked previously about our solar panel this is a Zamp solar panel, it's a 40 watt, and we're going to attach a picture of all the information on it. There's a couple different electrical options. The one we have is a portable solar panel, which plugs into the back. Um, we haven't had a chance to use it that much, to be honest with you. Everywhere we went, we were able to plug in and it would give us enough charge to last long enough to run our lights and fans for a few days. So, um, if probably if we were to do it again and get a solar package, we'd get one that permanently mounts to the box or the flexible panel that goes up here. That way it's charging the whole time you're driving. So if you're driving five or six hours a day, it's, it's actually charging the battery rather than just charging at the campsites. So one other thing to be aware of, I know there's different options on the awnings. Um, this awning is great. This is the Sunseeker, um, Rhino Rack Sunseeker. We loved it and then we bought the screen room separately, which was amazing because it almost buys you like a whole nother five by eight or so uh, space to um, change or do whatever you want to do or cook, um, especially if it's real sunny, it really gives you shade. The only real issue we had is I don't know if it's great as a rain fly because we did have some heavy rain and it kind of sagged in the middle and, and pulled in on the, um, the posts that hold it up. So something to be aware of, uh, maybe like if you know there's rain coming, put it away. Um, you don't want to get damaged in any way. Uh, one issue we did have uh, when we got our hiker trailer back, um, so we had the the spare tire mount added and the toolbox added and this jack was from when we originally ordered it uh, so I don't know if it was just a little bit of an oversight but the actual when you crank the jack you actually end up hitting the tire so it's really awkward to, to jack up and down now you can kind of swing under it but um, I'm hoping to order something that that actually jacks up this way and maybe that won't be such a pain so um, I'm just dealing with it for now, but hopefully we'll try and get something better. I'll update that for you. I added these tension rods to the back of the galley where the cutout is because as you can see the red marks here, when we were traveling down the road, everything would shift and start to fly through the cutouts. And I was afraid they were gonna damage the door or the products themselves. So we just added these and they've been super helpful. Things haven't been flying through anymore. And you can also use them as a nice paper towel holder. One other thing I'd like to add to the hiker is a cargo net on the ceiling, um, just to hold either like our dirty clothes or what we're gonna wear the next day. That way they're right there and out of the way. Thanks again for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom. We have plenty of video from all our travels coming at you soon. Thanks again.